I'm Dr. Bart Rademacher, and this is part of the Masterclass Fuel, uh, designed to help my colleagues out there reimagine the business of medicine. But this series uh, with uh, Scott Tennant from uh, Synergy Wellness, CEO from there, is also designed to uh, educate the consumer what is actually possible outside of what conventional medicine offers. And let me give you a little context. I went to medical school when I was 17. And once I had graduated, I realized that there was a gap between what I had learned and what conventional medicine was able to offer and what people were also needing and wanting as well. Fast forward to today, uh, it's impressive the types of technologies that have come to the forefront, including those technologies from Synergy Wellness that we'll be discussing today that will help you optimize your health that unfortunately conventional medicine hasn't quite figured out yet. The truth is, or the relevant truth is, is that we've come so far with conventional medicine, the incredible diagnostic technologies and treatments, but still fall short in many areas. And this is no criticism of conventional medicine, it's just the relevant truth. Because up to this point, we still don't quite understand how the body works. So for today, it gives me a great pleasure and an honor to be discussing with Scott Tennant, CEO of Synergy Wellness, his own personal story, and also introduce the types of technologies that are out there. And of course, we can't make any claims, and we don't. And more importantly, is how the consumer, number one, can get access to this, but also more importantly, as my mission is to democratize and unify the current model of health so that doctors have access to this technology so that they can serve their patients in a much better way by complementing whatever it is that they're already doing in conventional medicine. So Scott, thank you so much for joining me today. This is a, a very important uh, conversation that you and I are gonna have because it shines a light on what's possible. So once again, you know, for emergency situations and crises, and I think you're gonna describe one of them that you've experienced, you know, conventional medicine is by far the best in the world but it does fall short. And again, no criticism of conventional medicine. It's just that our bodies are super complicated and there's a lot more to it than just what conventional medicine can offer. So love to hear, first of all, your story, then go into what Synergy Wellness is all about and the technologies that you are bringing to the forefront, which is the uh, microcurrent technology using you know, um, electromagnetic frequency at the same time. And then for those doctors out there or other people or entrepreneurs, the business model that can absolutely accelerate uh, businesses supporting the consumers with this technology as well. So Scott, thank you so much for joining me today. Sure. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, thank you. Yes. So, um, you know, what I noticed was that I uh, am relatively healthy and uh, think well uh, act well, eat well, um, exercise, but I had forgotten to take care of myself completely. Um, traveling the world about 200 to 250 days a year, uh, working with all of our clients, um, gave a unique experience where I would sometimes get, uh, four to five hours of sleep, uh, a day or weeks at a, at a time and then travel again and then start over again. So what I noticed, I did what was necessary to get my life taken care of, eat when I could, uh, but I did not use our devices to do what we call our daily protocol to say, well, I would think I'll catch up tomorrow because I only have five hours sleep and the 20 minutes is a lot. Again, I hear this from our clients a lot of times. I don't have 20 minutes in a day. See, I fell in the same trap. But... Um, after about eight months of this, um, you know, I kind of got into that new routine where it was, you know, oh, I'll just catch up again. And I could, I would when I could, about once or twice a month, I would do one. Not enough. But last October, about 20 weeks ago, um, I was uh, in Hawaii, thought I had an optical migraine. Uh, my dad being an ophthalmology in the past, I knew what that seemed like. A lot of glare from one side, ache behind the eye almost a headache. It could turn out to be a migraine, but sometimes not. Uh, dry eye feeling, lots of glare, 
um, lots of irritation, seemed just like an optical migraine. For an added uh, look at it, I took out a thing called an Amazur grid, which is a bunch of little squares to take a look at it to make sure all the lines were square and tight. And there was nothing missing. Everything was fine. Not being a doctor, I knew that uh, it sounded pretty much like it was an optical migraine. I have them about once or twice a year because you're getting you know, undernourished, underhydrated, not necessarily. Took, took an aspirin, kept on, got my sleep, woke up the next day. It was a little better. Uh, still a little blurry, a little bit of a headache. Went back through the day. About midnight that night, I noticed that uh, the headache was coming back, a lot of pressure. Still the glare looked like somebody had put their fingerprint on the glasses. And I thought, that's not good. That's been two days. So the next morning I got up, same thing. Called the local ophthalmologist there in Hawaii, went on in. And he came in and he said, well, there's a problem because you can only count my fingers, which means I could not see the biggie. And uh, he said, you have about a 10% chance of getting able to see the biggie again. He said, you've had an uh, ocular occlusion in the vein in the left eye. And uh, I knew what that meant. Uh, it's been uh, at least two and a half days. That usually means things are pretty bad, that uh, the retina is starting to die. Uh, there's lots of swelling. Sure enough, I have uh, pictures, which we will give to you, uh, that show uh, just after the injury. And uh, it looks like a volcano, which should be more flat. Um, not a good situation. So immediately I started using our technology to, um, you know, to do our daily protocol. And I uh, started also treating my eye immediately. So I would do that six to eight times a day. Normally have people do it once. When there's a situation going on, we have them treat the area of concern two to three times a day, according to, you know, when the pain is there or whatever. My gut instinct told me, treat more. So every time the pressure started up, I treat the eye again, but I do the whole body protocol to get make my body ready to hold the charge, but the frequency of the treat my eye. So going through the next 20 weeks or so, what I noticed was my vision went from where I could see only the outside about an inch on either side. It was clear. This was very blurry, like somebody, again, put their fingers on their glasses, that it started to clear as it went this way. So I did some other, um, uh, you know, therapies that I added in, you know, increased my exercise, increased my water intake, my, uh, I did some uh, colonics and things like that. So just help get my body back to base level. Um, but I noticed in about 20 weeks that I started to be able to see pretty tight. Everything out here was clear as it finally came in and it finally cleared to the center. Uh, this week, I tested 2025. And um, that is what would be considered a miracle. But, um, you know, one thing I've always said was seeing is believing. But in this case, not seeing was believing. Because what I did notice is that people don't take care of their self. We call it care for the caregiver. You go through life caring for someone who's ill or someone who's sick, but you forget to take care of yourself. But what happens is even the well people forget to take care of their self. And, and I think that's a really important fact that many um, doctors are experiencing themselves, particularly today, because as I like to put it, and, and again, no criticism of the world, it's just the relevant truth, now, doctors are uh, functioning in a hostile medical environment. It's incredibly or increasingly difficult to function in the best possible way for all the different restrictions and, and things like that, such that, you know, the doctors are under a lot of stress and pressure. And so, you know, they, they forget about themselves. And so, you know, with this technology and, and I'm, I'm being very intentional with this comment is that, you know, whilst this technology is so incredibly effective, uh, and again, not making any claims, but what we do always recommend is you stack up different types of modalities to get the full impact. But because this technology is so effective, and there's other technologies like this out there, but I like this one in particular for a lot of different reasons, which we'll be discussing in a moment, 
um, allows the the doctor to also help their patients with any of the kind of conditions that they have in pretty much any kind of specialty. But what I like about this, to be totally transparent, is that opportunity to use this technology on yourself. So if you're a doctor out there and getting access to this technology to support you and help you with your conditions and at the same time helping your patients, I mean, that's that's super cool. It's, it's very different, by the way, than giving your, your patients, you know, antibiotics and, and um, you know, antidepressants and taking them yourselves because you don't need that, right? But this technology can absolutely optimize cellular function at a granular level, as we'll be discussing in, in a moment. So I'm excited that, that you're doing so much better. Um, so give us a little sort of insight on, on the story behind the development of Synergy Wellness what Dr. Scott Tennant has been doing, uh, just briefly on that, as we then want to hear more about what is this micro um, uh, micro electric electric technology and um, uh, electromagnetic frequency is, uh, so that the listener can understand and then knows what to do next. Awesome. Yes. So uh, I mentioned that my dad was an ophthalmologist by trade um, from the time he was like you. Uh, you know, graduated medical school very early and uh, worked a lot with cataract surgery, uh, was the one of the original investigators that became LASIK eye surgery, the cosmetic surgery to get rid of glasses, did over 5,500 of those cases before it was approved for the study. But uh, he came up one day where he just was unable to remember things, lethargic, incredibly lethargic, uh, uh, you know, just... Uh, not functioning well. Um, so he went in and had a bunch of uh, lab tests run with his, his general practitioner, and they said, uh, your platelets are extremely low, and we don't know why or how. Um, but uh, come to find out he had 30-some-odd uh, known viruses in his blood and brain, uh, had encephalitis, and um, had to immediately retire. Um, so... You know, the the all the doctors that he went to all around the world to travel to try to figure it out, they said, we don't know what this is. Um, we don't know what to do about it. Uh, steroids will make you look awesome. And, um, you know, and you'll just slowly decrease away um, in nice words. Um, you know, he immediately thought, I'm a researcher. You know, I'm I'm a scientist. I have to find this myself. Um, there's no answers. There's nothing to compare to. There's nothing that we know of that looks like this. And so what is it? So he went back and started doing research from the past. And he found back in the, in the late 1800s, I think it was, that uh, someone came up with the theory that uh, cells in the body run at minus 25 millivolts. In a Petri dish, I think it's minus 50 to 75 millivolts. Um, but nobody has cells that live in a petri dish. So when you test them in the body, minus 25 millivolts is its natural functioning state. Minus 50 millivolts is what it takes to make a new cell or to heal one. So he noticed that his cells were running at some, somewhere like three or four, or minus three or four. So when most of your body or all of your body is functioning at three or four, you can imagine you can't do much. You can't make anything new. You can't heal much. Um, therefore, things start to shut down in different places. So, of course, as he realized this, he thought, well, you know, you really need to be an electrician, not, a, you know, not a, as a doctor to try to figure out how to make this electrical system work in your body. So he said there has to be ways to increase the voltage in the body. And so that's where the search came to finding uh, people to help us create these devices, where we actually find the different frequencies to put in the body to actually raise that cellular voltage, like you said, treat at the cellular level. Um, when you treat at a cellular level, you're also treating uh, what the cells make up. So, uh, you know, during this process, one of the things we do is we uh, reset the autonomic nervous system, which is incredible for the human body to do. Um, we tell people do this first thing in the morning. If you do this first thing in the morning, your body resets. You have a great place to start from and to launch from. 
then you go back and you charge the body. And then that way you have the cells that you need or the voltage you need in your cells to make things function well. And then we layer other things on top, which are things outside of what we do to make sure you're healthy, eat well, drink well, uh, you know, think well, that sort of thing, mind, body, spirit, medicine, basically. You know, and, and I actually talked to uh, Dr. Tennant myself and, and his story is remarkable where he was actually bedridden and, and couldn't move at all. And this was just uh, completely unacceptable. And, and what's interesting, you know, with uh, conventional medicine and our training, you know, how sophisticated our educational process is, <laughs> but, you know, absolutely lacking in certain areas, including nutrition. And so yeah. clearly, you know, the understanding as to how the, the cell function actually is functioning and how it's dysfunctional is not something that we as conventional doctors are looking at. And the truth of the matter is, is that when a imbalance occurs, this then develops obviously into a, an illness. But we're not even looking at the imbalance or the root cause of that imbalance. That we're not even looking at the ability of the cells to self-regulate themselves. And voltage, of course, is clearly so important, including interstitial pH and all sorts of other factors that if we began to addressing those, then of course things would be so much better. And so that's why I'm excited about, you know, talking about this type of technology. Uh, again, it's not the only technology out there, but I particularly like this te technology because of its applicability and because of its affordability. And so it's so much more accessible to, to anyone. Um, so describe, you know, the the standard process i mean you mentioned early on some different protocols um what does the device actually look like and um and after that then i do want to talk a little bit about the business model or how people can actually get access to it so so what does this technology kind of look like how does it apply you know what are some of the protocols uh time frames and then we'll talk about the business aspect sure sure so it is a handheld device so the business side of the unit is is basically a computer that uh, is the micro uh, technology, which actually has the frequencies inside. Um, the 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 other uh, part is an accessory, which is a PEMF light, which allows it to get into the body. You can either do it transdermally or with the uh, the PEMF light to get it into the area that you need. Um, so it is very portable. Uh, people carry it with them on an airplane. Uh, you can take it in your purse, your briefcase. Um, a lot of our physicians will use it at the office at night, put it in the carry case, take it home, use it on their self and their family. Uh, so it is very portable. Um, it's something that unlike myself, people use every day. I do now every day. Um, but I learned my lesson. But, um, uh, you know, it is very portable. And so it's something that... Uh, you know, doctors who do have it for their self, they end up buying one for home <laughs> instead of having to transport it every day. But uh, it is very small, very portable. Um, uh, it's affordable. It's anywhere from about $5,000 to about $13,000, according to the model that you actually choose. Um, some of the models have um, more frequencies that are more specific for different areas of the body. Uh, then there's more of a basic model that... Uh, is uh, more of a take-home model for most of the people that has four of the most used modes on it. So again, I, I think, you know, what we've learned over the years um, is that, well, if we have a problem, we give you a drug. You know, if, if we can't take care of the problem with the, with the drug, it will ultimately lead into a problem that requires surgery. And, and that's actually a very myopic uh, perspective. And interesting enough, when I mean, you mentioned that the late 1800s, um, there is this company that some people are maybe still familiar with that's Sears Roebuck. And Sears Roebuck was actually selling these uh, electric, electronic, and other types of energy devices to doctors. And at that point, before the turn of the century, at least 10,000 health practitioners and, and MDs as well, I'm sure, um, had access to these devices with all sorts of different results. And unfortunately, you know, with... Um, the Carnegie Institute and the Flexner Report, all that was canceled. Um, but many people have continued all that that research over the years. 
And um, what's exciting is that a lot of that research has come to the forefront in the last 20 in applicable devices like what Synergy uh, Wellness has provided. And even this fellow by the name of Tesla, I mean, he was totally clued into frequency and voltage and everything and made some very bold statements at that time. So why is it relevant today for everyone, including my colleagues out there who, again, you know, their challenge is, is that they're just so overwhelmed, uh, don't have the bandwidth to learn new things, but simplified for everyone is this, is that we have 10,000 named parts in our body and each of those individual parts has its own energy signature. I mean, that's just a fact. That's how it is. Now, what I'm learning is that every element, every component of those 10,000 both emit energy and can receive energy. What does that mean is that every component can influence through energy other components or be influenced by others. So translated, you know, our body is a complex network of very sophisticated interactions of communication and energy transfer, which I call just information. And, 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 and just seeing it in that light that all this energy transfer, just think of it as information. And so yes. when we apply the, these technologies that you're talking about, we're essentially giving information to the cells so that they can function properly because they're lacking the appropriate energy levels and frequencies and everything else. And to give another example, um, if people are familiar with the RIVE technology, basically that's a frequency technology and science has clearly shown how it can actually eradicate different bacteria because of the resonance and, and the frequencies that are emitted. So here again, you know, energy can affect, you know, the different parts of the body. And this is why it works. The most important element, which is clearly what the group at Synergy Wellness and the Tenant Institute are able to do is, is understand the specific needs of individuals and then deliver however the, the the stacking of different products is available to them to ultimately get the results. I mean, it's crazy to think that one pill is going to take care of everything. It doesn't. You know, we make a lot of poor choices over our lifetime that result in a absolute, you know, chaos of imbalances within the body. But fortunately, in my opinion, you know, all disease is reversible. And that's a bold statement. Um, but it's what I do firmly believe as long as we get access to all the types of modalities or technologies to reverse that. So that's why I think this, this technology is so important, using it with integrity, of course, using it very intentionally, of course, understanding what's gonna work for some people and what's not gonna work for others. And that's where I think a lot of people go wrong, but that's what the Synergy Wellness and, and myself are dedicated to support doctors and consumers, of course, to understand the best applicability for them so that they ultimately get the results. So I'd like to invite you to add anything else that you want to what it is that I just shared as to contextualizing this technology and Synergy Wellness and the Tenant Institute before we actually go into this, the business model that's available for doctors out there or any other entrepreneur for that matter. Sure, sure. And you know, you hit on something, the root cause. Um, the root cause of what's causing the uh, you know, the ailment that the person has. So, you know, my eye was my liver gallbladder circuit, which makes a lot of sense from different uh, things. Uh, emotion is another thing that we find has uh, a lot to do with uh, illness and health. Uh, this, uh, the back of the eye actually uh, uh, is grief. So, uh, you know, when we look at those things, that gives us the root cause of what actually caused this. So without the voltage being kept up in my body, then things in my liver, gallbladder started to change in uh, a bad way. Uh, grief laid on top of it that was um, untreated because, of, again, my lifestyle where uh, we've had some death that uh, kept going in business and did not... Uh, appreciate the grieving process and and work with that so it became a detriment um so you know finding the root cause and giving the body what it needs is is truly the piece you know where you like you said stacking the things that you need there was a piece missing which you know my body had did not have the proper voltage from the rest and those things which i had the key to which is to put it in to solve the problem which is the 
So we just had to go backwards again, find the root cause, replace what we have, treat the area of concern, get the autonomic nervous system back. So, um, so, so, so yes. again, yeah, th thank you for that distinction. And, and that's, uh, that's a part of, you know, how our whole existence happens, right? That I totally appreciate because of my 25 years of, of experience and research in multiple levels and not just in medicine, but also in brain intelligence and energy intelligence, as I like to put it, um, still kind of out of the scope of, of many people to understand or appreciate. Um, but again, I'm just going to contextualize it briefly and, and also let my colleagues out there off the hook in, in having to deal with emotions because they don't always want to deal with people's emotions. But here, here's the truth, right? Is that the, and this is all scientifically and evidence-based, right? So the, the heart actually emits an electromagnetic frequency every time it pulsates. Why? Because the electric pulse that goes through the heart actually instantly creates a magnetic field. So we call it electromagnetic field. Now, what's interesting about that electromagnetic field, it actually radiates about 10 to 12 you know, uh, feet away. We know this because we can measure this with a apparatus that's called a squid. And I won't exactly get, tell you what the acronym is because I already forgot it. But the point of the matter is that's energy that affects every single 70,000 or 70 trillion cells that you have in your own body. And whatever frequencies are out there, they're going to influence those cells in a positive, negative, or neutral way for that matter. So that means, you know, last time I checked, the my head, my brain is attached to my heart. So any the, the brain with all the elect, uh, neural pathways emitting all these electric signals, therefore electromagnetic field, which then also influences the heart, all of that's information and information given to every single cell. So when we talk about things like grief or other emotions, these are real. This is the 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 language of our body, actually. If you listen to Joe Dispenza, you know, emotions are the language of the body, and that will affect every single cell. So it's really important to contextualize that. But here's the the how the docs and everybody else can get off the hook because you need people that really understand those areas. And so I suggest to all people, you know, you want to get a team that are expertise in different areas. You collaborate with them. You stack the different services on top of that. But here's the thing, right? It's like, like with anything when we stack, you know, what's going to have the most impact? Well, clearly, this kind of technology has immediate and massive impact right away. So even if you just had this, it will make a big difference. Because, again, to contextualize this, every cell has both relative and absolute limits in its ability to self-regulate. All the different chemical reactions, everything that's happening, all the interactions with all the different cells in the tissues and the organs, you know, there are limits, both relative and absolute. And so when the cell is not functioning well, those relative li limits have become much more narrow so that, again, the, the, the brain has to make different hierarchical choices as to where that self-regulation will go. And therefore, some areas will not be well-regulated, and that's when the imbalance happens, and that's when you get a stroke. And so understanding that part, and so when you're able to upregulate the cell, and again, there's so many different ways to do that, and there's so many people out there talking about different ways to do that, for sure, but the most effective and immediate is using these medical technologies out there that can upregulate instantly. But again, you still have to keep up with it and do all the other things to maximize all of that. Because in my view, when you look at people who live in the blue zones, and these are the areas of the world where people are living well into the 90s and 100s, perfectly healthy, you got to wonder, why is that? And it's because they are not affected by all the toxic insults and challenges and they're doing all the right things for themselves. So let's jump into that business model. You know, what, what is Synergy Wellness really offering? You know, what's possible? Again, I like the fact that doctors can also now begin to treat themselves um, because that's an important part. And then, you know, how can they bring it into the business um, for the patients? Yes, yes. So, um, you know, we have people taking both uh, paths at the same time. Uh, you can have a recurrent patient that comes in that has therapy on a certain uh, time to basis according to their needs, and their uh, therapy is required by the doctor. 
Um, and then another thing is to actually prescribe it out to the patient to be able to purchase it, take it home, and be followed up again by you, the doctor, in the office um, to be followed up. And, uh, you know, most people that do both at once, they'll come back in, they'll come back in, and they'll say, let us also treat you. Even though you're doing the routine at home, we're going to come in and we're going to add a little bit of therapy because we're going to add something you may not have done yet and re uh, and um, you know reinvigorate you into staying with the protocols and uh, you know adjust their protocols accordingly. So uh, so two paths: uh, patient coming in recurrent and then having their device available. Awesome, and and here again. I want to contextualize all of this. Um, you know, with the current healthcare uh, model or environment, it's, it's extremely difficult for doctors to actually have a thriving business for a lot of different reasons. And I'm not going to go into that. Um, and people can learn more about that in my master class, by the way, or go to my website, uh, which is uh, www.drrademaker.com. But the relevant truth is, is that if doctors are not able to really have a thriving business, um, they're also not going to be able to effectively take care of their patients in all the different dimensions. And so by allowing them to have different revenue models that are outside of just the regular insurance programs, allows them to have more latitude, more autonomy, and also to offer things that they otherwise wouldn't. In addition to, you know, giving access to their patients to these kinds of technologies that can absolutely help them. So if you're a doctor and are listening to this or you're part of the master class, obviously uh, this is something that you definitely have to look into. Uh, you deserve to, you know, add another 100K to your bottom line. People might think that's crazy. You know, if you're not a doctor, but if you are a doctor, you know how tough it is these days. That might seem very odd and weird to many people and it's only going to get worse. No criticism to the current situation. It's just a matter, it's an opportunity for us to do even better. But most importantly, what I get excited and why I do what I do is to ensure, uh, ensure that doctors have more capacity to help the, their patients heal as well. And so um, in addition to, to all of that, I know that the group at uh, Synergy Wellness and the Tenant Institute are very open to support. They got programs and everything else. Same thing with the Masterclass and the Doctor's Guide podcast and Doctor's Guide platform to actually help people understand what is going to be best for them because uh, there is a lot that you can do. And um, this upsets some people when I say something like this, but in today's world, there's no excuse to be sick anymore. Uh, it's a choice. The information's out there, the people out there, like the Synergy Wellness Group, the Scott Tennant, you know, his, his mission, his passion, his commitment to serve at the highest level with all his team there, including uh, Jerry, who's in the background somewhere. But it's really important to have uh, relationships with beautiful people like them because they come from absolute total integrity a product that will deliver in the right circumstances uh, so that people can optimize their health as we see in your particular case so it's a shout out to you guys it's also a shout out to my colleagues out there and any consumer out there to say look you deserve this um, and reach out to either one of us so that we can absolutely support you uh, scott do you have anything else that you'd like to add? Yes. If anyone has any questions, give us a call. Um, you know, uh, like you said, my team is here to help answer the questions. Um, we all have stories just like I had where there's a reason why we do what we do. And we help people every single day. Um, and uh, we love to help uh, other doctors figure out a way to help their patients better to get well and stay well. And, uh, you know, we're here. So thank you. Yep. Yeah, and I've been there and um, I've curated everything. It's a beautiful place, beautiful story. And don't take my word for it, but other people like Tony Robbins, you know, endorse them. Other people for sure. It's incredible. And once again, you know, it's, it's specific for each individual. And ultimately, it's every individual's responsibility to make the right decisions for themselves based on the right information. But listening to the Synergy Wellness Group and the, the uh, Tenant Institute Group, you know, they are out there to absolutely help you understand all the aspects so that you make the best decision for yourself. Because ultimately, in the toxic world that we live in, it's harder and harder. And so having these technologies, 
and having these dedicated people, including myself, to help you uh, find that health optimization, you know, that's a win for everyone. Uh, Scott, thank you so much. Uh, this has been very enlightening, also part of the Masterclass Fuel, uh, helping doctors reimagine the business of medicine, but also prescription for your transformation and the doctor's guide and all the other platforms to help reinvent or reimagine our healthcare so that we all can do well. Thank you.